So today is Monday and it's a new week and a particularly interesting week, I would say. This is the second to the last week in October, which means it's about to be the end of the year. That's crazy. It's also interesting because this week is also going to be pretty busy with school, uh, work, and also tutoring and other things. So I have quite a little bit on my plate this week. I'm also starting a new team at work this week. So it's going to be pretty cool, interesting. I think it would be really interesting to kind of see like how this team operates and um, what I could possibly bring to the team. So definitely looking forward to that. Also, I'm leading a workshop today as well for threat detection in multi-cloud environments as well. So that'd be cool. But welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day. On this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, and other life stuff. And this is gonna be another day in the life as a detection engineer. I did a dog. So right now it's currently 7.48 a.m. Not sure if we can see it, but that's the clock somewhere up there. And I typically wake up between 7 and 7.30 a.m every day pretty much just get started with work before my daily meetings or daily stand-ups and then afterwards get breakfast and then continue working till the end of the day so i'll just start with like some housekeeping items today just going over my email making sure everything's good also start onboarding myself slowly uh, for the new team and then we'll go from there I would say that one thing that is pretty cool about working as an engineer is I do think that you don't get as many emails as you would or compared to when I was an analyst, right? So when I was an analyst, I used to have like thousands of emails and these were mostly automated emails from like, you know, maybe alerts or vulnerability scans or like you know, if you're, if you're working in a, G, in a global SOC or a GSOC, whatever it's called, you tend to have a bunch of alerts from like a bunch of like different things for a bunch of different reasons. So you could have a, like you could have up to like thousands of emails on a daily basis. Matter of fact, even up to tens of thousands, depending on how noisy they are. But I really like that I don't have that many emails. Um, I do get a bunch. So they might start coming in maybe later during the day, but right now it's not like, an unbearable amount of email. So I typically like to clear up my email box, um, make sure I'm not missing anything important. Also, it's just the start of the week, so just kind of make sure that all of that is all set. Once that's done, I'll get to doing some work. So after checking my email box, I typically go over my calendar for the day and the week. So just kind of look at what meetings I have for today to mentally keep that in mind. And also for the week as well, so I look at like, meetings, one-on-ones, and just make sure that everything I have is, I guess, properly set. I don't have any conflicts. So like this like this morning, I had some conflicts with my meetings, so we're scheduled, and then that way, you know, everything is all set. So that's pretty much it. It's just basically me just kind of having an idea of like what I have to do this week in terms of meetings and also plan my focus time around that because Sometimes meetings could be a bit of an impediment to actually getting focus work done. So I typically kind of want to know like when can I actually get work done that is not meetings. So that way um, I'm well mentally planned out for the week with work stuff. All right, so I'm gonna hop into a Zoom meeting for my daily stand-up. So daily stand-up is over. Um, well, it's dark in here. It's still dark. All right, there we go. So daily's time up is over, but I still have a bunch of meetings 
for today and my meetings for today are like front loaded till morning so it's like back to back i do have a meeting like next 15 minutes let me turn off this fan all right i do have a meeting i do have a meeting in the next 15 minutes um but i'm gonna see if i can just quickly grab something to eat before that meeting starts there's a bunch of food in here if you know you know so my mom must have left me this for whatever reason i typically don't eat some type of food but sometimes i just do because i don't eat them often so this is a Nigerian dish. This is um, this is called, I think this is wheat. This is wheat in more so form. And then in here is some stew. It's called egusi stew, egusi soup. Cause soup is different from stew. Stew is typically made with um, pepper and tomatoes. Soups vary according to what kind of soup it is. There's like okra soup, there's like, uh, vegetable soup. There is like, um, I go see soup. This is like made with uh, melons, uh, melon, melon beans, I think. Um, there's a way to soup that's made with, uh, uh, with a way to leaves. I forgot what the name, actual name of the leaves are, but so this is, um, I believe this is wheat, uh, with wheat in more so form, not just like regular wheat and I go see soup. And that's what I'm having for breakfast. This is not my typical breakfast. I typically have like eggs, like four to five eggs for breakfast um, or six eggs for breakfast and or like, a, like a protein shake or something like that. But I mean, like this is there. I haven't had this in a long time. So might as well indulge myself today. And it's probably gonna be like one of two meals I'm gonna have today. Cause I'm like, I'm probably not gonna eat till later tonight. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. Hopefully I can eat some before I start my next meeting. So I'm in too much of a time crunch. Um, I can't eat breakfast yet. So I'll just hop into another meeting that I have in about two minutes. It's like back-to-back -back meetings, but it's cool though, cause like, it's morning, so it's like all of them are just front loaded in the morning so I can have the rest of my day to get stuff done, work, have breakfast and uh, everything else I need to do, so. An ever for a bounty hunter. So far, I've had about three hours of focus work today, which is pretty good considering that it's still midday um, and I've had a bunch of meetings today. So before I get into more focus work, I'll probably just go eat something. I'm a little hungry. I didn't really eat much. <laughs> what I ate this morning, I didn't even finish it because there wasn't enough soup. So I'll probably eat some more food and then get back to, to work. I am leading a workshop today for Dash, which is Datadog's uh, very own conference. Um, it's gonna be about three hours and it's online. So I'm gonna have to like go through, it's called Accelerated Multi-Cloud Threat Detection with Datadog. I'm just kind of going through how to do threat detection in Datadog um, for AWS and Azure. So like a multi-cloud environment. So walking you through, walking you through a scenario of a threat hunt for investigating a compromised AWS and Azure environment. Pretty cool. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. It's my first time leading a workshop here at Data Dog. So looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be exciting. So we'll see how that goes. So 
about to eat again. Um, about to eat some jello fries. And what jello fries is, is another, another Nigerian dish. And it's basically rice cooked in the best way you can ever think of. Like it's spicy, sometimes depending on who cooks it. Spicy, a little flavor. It's blissful in your mouth. Um, I can't really explain it because you just have to eat it for yourself for you to truly understand how beautiful it is. So yeah, I'm about to eat. I'm also in a bulk process right now. So I started bulk in middle of the year and I was trying to get from 150-ish to 170. I've actually reached my goal of getting to 170. Right now I'm around 171, but I decided to push it up a little bit to 175. So I have more of a, when I'm cutting back down, I have more space to cut back down because I feel like 165 is still a little too lean. But if I cut to like 168 or maybe 167, I think that's lean enough. Or maybe 165, we'll see. But right now I'm trying to gain a couple more pounds. I might not hit 175 since I already hit 170. But once I get a 175 or somewhere around that, um, then I'll start cutting back down to like 165 or thereabout. But yeah, I do need to eat more food and more carbs and more protein, more everything. <sighs> All right, so the workshop is over. It wasn't too bad. It was about two and a half hours-ish. It was my first time leading a workshop. I think I did okay. It's pretty cool, but I know that I'll probably do better by next time. <laughs> A little nervous, I uh, haven't done anything like this, like for a company. I mean, I have though, but not a workshop. So a couple months ago, I was in Boston for AWS Reinforce and I did a bunch of demos for customers, just showing them our different platforms. But this was virtual and I didn't feel as much of an interaction um, like, you know, it was in person, but it's, it was also my first time, so. A lot to learn um, with doing virtual workshops. Once I learned like your voice, I'll be able to call you by name, tell you apart no. from others who use the Alexa, devices Alexa, to no, Alexa, stop. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but um, I know I can definitely get better over time with doing these workshops. I'd also check with the team to see if I can actually do walkthroughs of the workshop on my channel. Um, so that you guys can get to see um, that cool stuff. Hopefully I can do it because um, I don't know if they're going to be publicly accessible. If they are, it would be great because that means that I can do a walkthrough and also that you guys can try out the workshop and also get to work with Datadog on your own. So I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much my work day. Um, I will be going for my jujitsu lessons in a bit. Um, but I'll just chill before I go for that and then probably study tonight. So thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.